This question is about the food science of carbohydrates. And as is often the case, there is a link to practical work that you should have carried out during your course. Remember to start looking and reading. How many marks are available for this question? How many parts to the question? And what command words are used? Looking at the first part of the question, you can see it asks, what are the reasons for a roux sauce being stirred throughout preparation? Try and recall the times you've made a roux sauce and think about why you had to stir it. Taking your time to think back to when you made a roux sauce will help you. What was important when you were stirring it? Write your answer clearly and try and use key food science terms when you can. Now the second part of the question must be completed. Never miss out a part question. Try and answer it even if you're not sure. This time, the command for the question follows a statement. The command is asking which methods bring about gelatinization. The instructions ask you to tick the two correct boxes. Read the options carefully and reflect on the key terms you may have used when preparing a roux sauce or similar sauce. If you know one is not correct, you could cross it out and then tick the two boxes you think are correct. So let's see how your answer should look. You completed the first part by stating, stirring a roux sauce stops it sticking to the base of the pan during cooking, and it helps to fully gelatinize the sauce, distributing the starch and heat evenly as it cooks. And then you ticked two boxes, blending and roux, as methods of sauce making that bring about gelatinization. Your answer is complete and you've checked it, so you can move on to the next question with confidence.